Welcome to Spark SQL video tutorials. In this ongoing video tutorials, today's session I'm going to give you a brief information about a window function and a window is having a different kinds of functions are available. So one of the major functions are like a ranking functions. Okay, so different kinds of window functions are available. One is ranking function, analytical functions, aggregation functions, and window frame functions. Okay, so this session, First, we'll understand uh, what is a ranking function, different kinds of ranking functions, and how we will use that, and what exactly window function requirement, and how it will give you uh, analytics part, or how it will give you the benefit when it comes to uh, different kinds of ranking functions. Okay, so for this, I'm going to create one uh, same employee table. We are going to use this example, employee table. An employee table, nothing but employee number, employee name, job, manager, high date, salary, commission, department number. The same table we will use and we will understand first data individually. Okay. Then we'll understand a window functions, window functions, that is ranking functions. So ranking function means rank, dense rank, majorly, uh, which most of the databases supports this. Our row number also most of the databases supports this and another two more ranking functions entire function and percent rank okay rank dense rank and row number you can find in most of the databases another two more functions percentage rank and entire rank okay let's understand one by one let's understand one by one and we'll understand even window functions as well we'll understand even window functions as well okay let's table creation in progress once table is available the same data we will use to understand window function and the data point of view okay okay table is available and data also is available so here so i'll download this data and i will show you parallelly okay so whenever you go with the whenever you go with any aggregations right so aggregations which uh, it will take a multiple uh, rows as an input it will give you a single record if you are going with the total data set and uh, grouping grouping depends on group by column depends on group by column so when it comes to window functions right so whenever you use aggregation non-aggregated columns you need to group the data but window functions it won't group any data related to non-aggregated columns okay Let's understand with one example, we'll see that. Okay, so I'll select on a few columns, employee number, employee name, and salary. Okay, these three columns I'll select. Then I will show you that first ranking function. So rank is one of the function, and the syntax will be like this, rank, open and uh, close round brackets, then over class, then inside over class, which we need to pass the arguments, one is partition by another one is order by so partition by is dividing data into multiple windows that we'll see later first we'll see total data set first we'll see total data set total data set on which basis you want to apply for ranking so order by consider if you go with uh, just uh, without order by class rank this time creating alias name salary rank so over class always it's need a one argument that argument is order by you say this okay window ordering is very important because when it is generating a rank and uh, which column database is okay so we'll go with order by class order by salary descending so i want to give a rank highest salary first rank then depends on remaining like you say this 5000 first rank next to these two employees are having same salary 3000 3000 same rank and the next rank you see this this employee fourth rank you don't see third rank because rank is a function rank is a function whenever you generate a ranks if it is generating the same rank next rank it will skip the sequence number you say this three is skipping even there is another rank here ninth rank it is generating the same rank for these two people having the same salary and 10th rank it is skipping rank by default it will skip the sequence if it is generating the same rank 
Okay, the next sequence will be skipping. Okay, the next sequence. And so here we are using order by class and it is generating a rank for entire data set. It is generating a rank for entire data set. Entire data means like 15 columns are there, 15 columns it will generate. Let me tell you in again. So you can generate rank on entire data set. Okay, so that is called without partitioning or you can generate a ranking on particular column basis. I will tell you that. Consider department 10, I, I want ranks. Department 10, I want separate ranks. Department 20, I want separate ranking. So these employees, I want to give a ranking for this department wise. So department wise, I need to generate a rank. So this department only one person is available. So give that separate rank. Okay, and then they based on their salary, highest salary, first rank, then second highest salary, third highest salary. So I want to generate like this window basis. So dividing this data into multiple windows on which column basis I want department wise. So department column is going to divide your data into multiple windows that is called partitioning that is called partitioning. So use partition by class use partition by department number. What will happen now you see this ranks are giving here. So I'll show you the department number as well. I'll show you the department number and now you see total like without partition mean it is going to generate ranks on entire data set. So entire data means total how many records are there it is generated a rank. But if you go with the partition by partition by is nothing but dividing your data into multiple partitions nothing but multiple windows multiple windows. So multiple windows means each window 10th department these three employees are there. They is highest salary, second highest salary, third highest salary. 20th department, these employees are there. First highest salary, 3000, two people are having the same salary. Rank one, then skipping the sequence, third rank. But rank one, you see this same table, same data, you see this 15 records, you see multiple rank ones. Why? Because we are dividing the data into multiple windows that is called window function. So window function means the rank function which you can apply partition by and that is grouping the data internally that nothing but splitting your data into multiple windows nothing but multiple partitions multiple partitions based on this column based on this column. Okay if you are not using a partition by then it will apply an entire data set it will apply an entire data set. So that is called partition by class. Next if you are looking for a total data set, exclude partition by, then it will consider entire data set. Then let's understand, you can format this SQL code. There is option called edit, format SQL cell. It will format like this. Okay. If it is not like looking better, again, you can go back. Then individually, you can write like this. Okay. So this is rank. Similarly, we'll understand dense rank as well. We'll understand dense rank. Dense rank is another function. Same we will generate a, on like a rank on salary column. Highest salary, first rank, dense rank. Even I will generate a row number over the order by class. Salary descending row number. Okay, first we'll see this three, then we'll understand next on another two. Okay, so now if you observe carefully, this rank dense rank, this is a rank, this is a dense rank. And whenever you see this repeated value, right, so it is giving a same rank. But when it comes to dense rank, it is not skipping the sequence, you see this. But rank is skipping the sequence. And dense rank is not skipping the sequence. You see this two to same rank next to three rank. Okay, so rank dense rank both are generating a ranks based on data. The only difference here it is it will skip the sequence rank whenever it's repeated it whenever it generate a repeated rank. It will skip the sequence, but dense rank won't skip no skipping. 
no skipping. So that's the difference between rank and dense rank. Then why it will help you? When it will help you? Let's understand with one example. Consider from last 15 years or 20 years, the common interview question is find the find the nth highest salary. Consider third highest salary person. Third highest salary person. Okay. In this table, I want to get you third highest salary. So uh, this is alias name. Alias name you cannot use in a where class. Alias name you can use only in order by class. If you use a from class subquery, select star from. Then, so these alias names, now this from class subquery, it will act as a table, new table. Then you can use those alias names in a where class. You can use those alias names in a where class. This is called from class subquery. So now I want third highest salary. So if you go with the rank right, using rank where, where rank equal to third. Third highest salary. You're not getting that. But there is a third highest salary. If you use a rank, you're not getting. If you use a dense rank, you will get that. Why? Because in this scenario, the third is skipping because the previous two employees are having the same salary. It is skipping the third. Third, there is no third rank itself. So it is skipping the third. So it is going for fourth rank. Actually, this is not a fourth highest salary. It's a third highest salary only. If you look at this. First highest salary. These two people are having a second highest salary. Then this is third highest salary. Jones. Jones is the third highest salary. But when you go with the rank, actually rank is generating a fourth. Because it is skipping the sequences, it is skipping the sequences. So if you're looking for these kind of scenarios, go with a dense rank because dense rank won't skip any sequences. Okay, it will give you rank, it will give you rank without skipping. And uh, next one is row number. Row number is how many rows are there? It will just give you a sequence number 1 to n. 1 to n means 1. Total 15 records are there, 1 to n 15, that's all. If you're looking for just, uh, I want fifth row, I want a hundredth row, okay? I want a tenth row, so you can go with the row number. Just blindly, you know, I want just a seventh row, seventh record from the table. So generate a sequence number using a row number, then face that seventh row, this is. So if you go to the traditional databases, Oracle, Oracle will be having a row ID, Oracle will be having row id row id means internet will have a uh, storage purpose they will be using row id but when it comes to big data file system it won't generate any row ids it won't store any row ids if you're looking for to fetch particular record you can use the row number you can use row number then particular sequence id will be generated from 1 to n if you have a 100 records 1 to 100 if you have 1 million records 1 to 1 million okay so that's about a row number then another two more Percent rank and the entire rank. Percent rank and the over class order by salary and descending. Okay, let's understand percent rank. Percent rank always it will give you, okay, percent rank always it will give you anything, uh, yeah, typo, typo error. Okay, now you see this. Percent rank will give you a ranking between 0 to 1, always. Minimum is 0, max is 1, that's all. If you have a 100 records, if you have a 1000 records, the rank will give you 0 is the minimum, max is 1. So that is called rank in a percentage, rank in a percentage. That is called percentage rank. Even if you have the same salary, you say the same percentage. 2 rank 2, rank 2. But row number won't give you the same because it's a sequence number. But if you look at this, so that is 0 to 1 in between, it will give you rank that is called percentage rank. And if you want to divide these ranks into just blindly divide, uh, I want to give only three ranks for all people, only three ranks. Okay, then you go with Yantile. So Yantile, which you can use the number three. So if you go with the number three, then it will give only rank one, two, three for all 15 people. as entire. Let's verify this, understand this. 
So this 15 people, the rank will get only one, two, three because I gave only number three. So this entire data set, 15 data sets, 15 values or 15 records divides into three parts. One part rank one, another part rank two, another part rank three. That's all. So I want to divide this total employees into two parts, part one, part two. So part one rank one, part two rank two, then you can go with the entire two. So 50% people, it will give you rank one, 50% people, it will give you rank two. That's all. So that's about the entire rank. You see this 50% rank one, 50% rank two. I want to give a, I want to divide this into four uh, buckets, four buckets, then the entire four, then you can divide this data and all these 15 employees will divide into four buckets. So bucket one, one rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four. So that's about entire rank. That's about entire rank. Well, the analytics side, this will help you. Analytics side, this will help you. And uh, this is about total rank functions, window functions. Okay, ranking window functions. So if you use a partition by, it will divide into multiple windows. That's called partition by class. Rank, dense rank, row number, percentage rank, entire rank. And the difference between rank and dense rank, it's a common question in any SQL, any testing, any data warehousing project, right? It's a common question from the last 15 years. The difference here, it is very simple. Rank, it will skip the sequences. Dense rank, it won't skip the sequences. That's the difference between rank and dense rank, okay? And uh, when it comes to another one is, you have a common interview question, how to find the nth highest salary in the highest salary means second highest salary first highest salary fourth highest salary so use a dense rank function in this scenario always use a dense rank function if it is not having a like, duplicate nothing but the same value it is not generating then rank will work but if any skipping is there then some scenarios it won't work that's why dense rank you can use for identifying the nth rank identifying the nth rank so this is about window functions ranking the next video will understand analytical functions cumulative distribution lag and lead and next we'll understand aggregation functions max minimum count some average the windows are windows functions okay if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video have a good day thank you all